So I'm making this video to show you how to um, maintain your power washer, specifically this uh, Super Power Stroke. I bought this from Costco about six years ago, and um, when I stopped using it for a period of about three years, um, and now I'm trying to use it again when I need it, it's, it has a lot of problems. Um, you shouldn't leave it sitting around with gas in it um, and not letting it kind of um, operate for a little bit because things will start breaking. Um, so if we'll talk about the issue of um, making it work again and having it start up and run. But, you know, some of the things that you need to change are the spark plug, which right here, you pull, just pull this out and then use a uh, spark plug socket, take that out, replace it. In regards to the oil change, uh, which they say you're supposed to do it frequently, but I haven't changed oil in this in like six years. But again, I, I didn't use it that much. It looks like it's almost brand new, right? But it's definitely been in operation for more than 20 hours. Um, there, right there, is the drain plug. Um, it's when you take that out, it's supposed to drop into this kind of pin. This raised edge over there is supposed to prevent the oil from spilling backwards. And it's supposed to flow and drop into here or flow down this edge and drop out of there. But it's a really, really big mess. Um, with these wires running through there, um, it's just gonna go down and drip on all of this stuff and it becomes like a big mess. Unless you're planning to put the whole thing in a bowl, um, I don't see any other way of doing it. Um, the other thing I thought about doing is kind of tilting it over, but it's not a good idea to do that. And always, always, always make sure that your fuel switch is closed when you're not using this, um, especially when you're trying to tilt it over, otherwise gas will just drop out of the air filter. Um, the easiest way to do this is literally get a plastic tubing. You can get it from any um, uh, hardware store, a uh, little small one like this, um, about a quarter of an inch, and just stick it in there, suck into it a little bit. Once the oil flows out, again, do that at your own risk. Don't inhale this stuff. I mean, you got along as soon as you see oil coming back, you could just stop and just dangle it down and let it drain into a, whatever you want it to drain into. Um, and just leave it when it's done, it's done. It'll stop on its own. And that's the easiest way to drain the oil. Then whatever you took out, just kind of, as soon as this is done, I will empty that cup. I'll know how much I took out. I'll empty it into a disposable container, fill it up with fresh oil, funnel, and dump it back uh, in there, uh, dump uh, new oil. Um, in there uh, and then I'll put the plug back on uh, further videos will come where I talk about fixing this and how to uh, get it running again